Good morning, I'm Mike Kirker. I'm the Chief of Course for the Men's Lake Louise Alpine Ski World Cup. I'm really proud and excited of what the uh, sled dogs have put together this year. Wednesday we had our first training run. Uh, it was a beautiful Lake Louise day, perfect skies, perfect weather, and a great course. Um, the feedback from the athletes was, was exciting for me that uh, the athletes were uh, surprised and shocked. They, uh, normally they come here expecting just a race course. This year we gave them a true challenge. The, uh, the athletes were amazed at how the new terrain that we'd been able to put in place because of the snowmaking systems and improvements here at Lake Louise uh, presented a very distinct challenge for the athletes. Uh, I think Jan Hudik was quoted as saying his skis were off the ground three times before the second gate. This year we're able to put in uh, some new terrain that uh, catches the athletes not off guard but stuff that we haven't been able to do in the past. So down on uh, timing flats there's consistent rolls at each one of the gates that's that's playing with the athletes timing and they sure they have to go around the poles as well but they have to be more concerned with the terrain that we presented to them this year. Thursday uh, we came up here in the morning and got up to the top of the hill and uh, we had a power outage. Uh, I'm not sure what happened but uh, during the jury meetings we had subsequent to the power outage we uh, we had to make some decisions on whether we could run or not. We ran through a bunch of different scenarios regarding lifts and how to get the athletes up onto the hill and it turned out that the best situation we could get was to run a what we call a, a Chinese downhill or uh, where the tr athletes get to do a free run from the curtain down. Uh, it was the best situation we could get. The athletes got three to four runs on the lower part of the mountain and they were thrilled with that. It, the athletes and coaches are spinning around through their hour inspection and their second training. So what they're doing now is, is readjusting their lines. So we presented them a new course this year. They didn't know how to run it. So they had one crack at it on Wednesday. Today they're going back in and readjusting their lines. They're a little too round here, a little too straight here. We can make up time here. So they're fine tuning their line for the weekend. Um, you'll see some of the athletes go a little quicker. They want to just get it through their head and some guys are really taking their time, making sure they can adjust their plan and execute it perfectly. Today we're expecting one to two centimeters throughout the day. So uh, our slip, uh, chief of slippers, John Ford, is doing a great job constantly sliking the slippers around. First they're going to start with the outside of the course, clear the spill zones. And then after sort of what you see in the background is the inspection going on. The athletes are slipping down. John will then get his group of slippers around and they'll clear the track completely and keep ahead of the snow that's ongoing. We're trying to make the racetrack fair for every single racer, which means we have three slippers or two slippers after every third racer to make sure the track's in perfect condition all day. Here's what some of the athletes had to say about our downhill course. As far as surprises go, the second turn that you can see out of the start gate surprised me when the first guy went down. Uh, I think it was Meyer from Austria. He flew off these tiny bumps that we thought were like nothing. So then I thought I wouldn't be surprised when I skied through them, and I skied through them, and I flew off the bumps, and I was surprised. So it's a pretty challenging course, tons of terrain. Uh, makes it fun definitely for the people watching and uh, for the athlete makes it more challenging and fun in the end. I think for me just my body position I think by the time I hit race day I need to be you know in a tuck for as much as I can. Aerodynamic and really you know learning how to pressure the ski over these bumps because you lose a lot of snow contact up there mm -hmm. and because the snow is so good the course is actually extremely fast and I mean, snow contact and body position are going to be the thing that wins the race here. I've actually changed my approach a little bit over the last year or so, two years. I usually, I'm usually that guy that kind of like, you know, cruises in and uh, cruises in and hopes for the best on race day, and then I pull out all all my bag of tricks. But I think uh, you know, this this last year, I just learned I need to, you know, and not, not having as many days on snow this summer, I really need to use every training run as a full practice and, and really see what the speed does to my body. It was good, you know, uh, I think they, they did a great job preparing the hill. Um, I was kind of hoping that it would be nice and easy and buff and smooth so I could test my knee out and, on it and kind of gradually uh, work my way into it, but I guess it's trial by fire and it seems to have paid off. I've always been, uh, you know, a big, a big uh, supporter of having a lot of terrain in the World Cup. I think that it makes you have to ski it better and uh, you know the fact that they put in lots of more terrain, lots of bigger jumps, uh, I think that makes it a real downhill, it makes it fun. You know, you go down and you're looking forward to the next uh, sort of terrain change, so I had a lot of fun in those spots. I was a little surprised out of the gate, you know, I just, the, 
the sheer speed of it. It's quite rattly down there. I kind of got thrown all over the place. Um, so I'm going to clean that up, certainly. Um, you know, the rest of it, I think I skied fairly well. There's certainly places I can improve, but I think, uh, you know, fishnet has been not great for me in the past, and it wasn't great for me today. Um, so that's another place I can improve upon. And uh, the plus side is that I did come out with a lot of height, so I was able to ski the bottom section really well. But again, no, the, the snow itself is really good.